Hi, Airmen. Welcome, Motion RC. Captain Mike here. We're surrounded by F-16 Vipers. Stay tuned for about 30 seconds after these highlights to see the full review. This is a lot quick take out, push four. Tower confirmed that ACES 99 is also quick to take out. Push it up. Let's do a 360. Hands up for a watch out signal. Shoot through me. Welcome Ocean RC, Captain Mike here. We got your pilot Ryan on the camera. On the deck we do have the F-16 Viper. You may know it as the F-16 Fighting Falcon. This thing is marvelous. This is one of the best jets. I think Ryan and I had a privilege to fly and Free Wing has done a great job on this. Make all your settings according to the manual. We went exactly with the low rates and the high rates. We found that low rates was a little bit sluggish. So we went ahead and went with the full rate and we've always flown in the full rate. It feels really good. When you first fly it, if you want to keep the ordnance off, so you can get the feel of what the aircraft feels like, you can do that. On the flapper ons, when I deploy, Landing you can see my elevator is actually going up and I've got that set at 26%. And uh, on the mid flap, I have it at 16. Now Ryan sets his at 20 and it all depends what you're comfortable with and how your plane is set up. Experiment with that on that up elevator. It's going to cut down a lot of your workload as you're coming in for that landing. Also check out one of the best retract systems I've ever seen in any type of electric. Check this out. I'm going to swing this around. Oh, that is locked and tight. Check that out. And you also have that nice LED light in the front. Sweet. That is cool. Well, another thing I like about the F-16 on this landing gear is it takes a lot of force to knock that off on its edge. About the only time that you're going to get a really bad sketch is if you just overcorrect on the on the uh, turn on your landings and takeoffs. If you overcorrect, she'll she'll flop over. But it takes a lot of, of force to actually knock this off its axis. The ordnance, ugh, if I get them off, just snap off, and if you want to fly with rails, that's cool because the ordnance actually come off on the uh, rails. So you can either fly with rails or the full bombs. Afterburner will kick in only at half throttle and up. So as I'm just taxiing around, you really don't see it. I had to cool Ryan off there for a second. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, yeah. On a hot day like today. Thank you. 
This has lots of thrust. This is excellent. The lighting configuration, as you put the tail on, you if you want the true F16, uh, you want this one to be your triple um, sequence and then a single sequence here. I know for a fact that on the blinky lights, they're all on this circuit board um, and they flash at the same time. Real F16 doesn't do that. They can kind of intermittently blink, but these are all like, you know, a Christmas tree type look. Doesn't bother me a bit because this has saved my orientation time and time again on those evenings. So, and those early morning flights. This is awesome. Talking about the circuit board, we got the circuit board up in here at this front part. I'm going to turn this over so you can see this. You will have to take out your ailerons out of the circuit board and go straight into your receiver if you want to have flapperons. Um, if you don't want the flapperons, you just want just regular old ailerons, you can go right into the circuit board. But you do want to put and separate those ailerons, channel one, into an, another channel. So you'll have two different channels, mix them together, and you're good to go. I love the circuit board because connected to that is the 8 amp UBEC and that will actually save out on brownouts and things of that sort. We are using Spectrum. We've had lots and tons of flights on all of our F-16s. We've had no problems whatsoever of any glitches. So thank you Freewing. You, you really helped us out in that one. Battery placement, we're finding the best placement is right here between this leading edge here of this uh, battery bay and in between the magnet. So just half that distance right in here. That's the best battery placement. Other than that, I'm excited about this and we're taking this up right now. We got two cameras rolling today because behind us is the best cloud cover you could ever get. And in front of us, absolutely no clouds. So we'll be bouncing back and forth. Airman, the awesome F-16 Viper by Freewing. Here we go, eh? Gears coming up. I've got flapperons on at half. They're going up now. I'm gonna slow this down to cool off that battery from that takeoff. You know, this thing is gonna feel kind of sluggish when you take off, but you're gonna feel a lot of power. It's not the fastest jet, but it is powerful. You gotta beat on that, Mr. Ramsey. All right. Now I love stalling this aircraft because it has a wing root glove. And that wing root glove allows this plane when you go vertical and stall, it just falls forward. Watch this, check this out. I'm gonna start inducing the stall. She's falling forward, look at that. No spin. Is that cool or what? The sound of this 90 millimeter EDF is really awesome. Look at that. Now I have the ordinance on it because I like how this feels with the ordinance. I don't particularly care for the uh, drop tanks because it kind of makes it pitchy and laggy. But you're going to notice that if you do put ordinance on it, it is stable. Let's go back up, Roy. Slide out, slide back in. There we are. Look at this baby. and it feels wonderful. Got the afterburner. Whenever uh, you hit half throttle, the afterburner kicks in. Time remaining, one minute. But boy, is it a rush for three minutes. My heart is just pounding right now. When I deploy the flapperons, the ailerons become flaps. I'm still able to use the ailerons as ailerons, but now they're also as flaps. 30 seconds. I'm going to come in from the east there, uh, Roy. 
and I have 26% added to my elevator. And we're coming on in. This is going to be sweet. Got a crosswind coming in, so I'm going to have to come in a little hot to stop that wind shear and stop from getting blown over. And we're just going to come right in there and bug out in the grass right here. And slow Sweet. Down. This is a small runway, but it gets the job done. We can actually get out of the danger zone before... Uh, any trouble happens on these landings. Look at that landing light. I want to come in right on this white line. Is that sweet or what? Rugged old bird, isn't it? Oh, yeah. T6 NL. Look at it all sitting there. T6 NL. T6 NL. T6 NL. Well, pilots taking off the free wing F16 90 millimeter EDF. Let's do it. Take off flaps. Now I'm going to dump the flaps. And come on down the line, Mike. Beautiful flying jet. I love the afterburners. We'll come out of power for a second. Just regroup. Now I'm going to put in my full flaps and give you a slow pass. Now, normally without the up mix, the nose would really come down on us. Beautiful. The nose would really come down on us and it, it really increases the workload uh, for the landings a lot. So now with this mix, and especially with the, the slow deployment, there, there's no adverse effects, you know, when you do hit them. Because they come down so slow. This plane is great to fly fast, but boy, savoring it in the slow flight is really something else as well. Look at that plane. Isn't that something? Free wing keeps delivering over and over again the best foam jets we've ever seen. Now, once I make this turn, I'm going to deploy my landing gear. Let's see what we can do. I'm taking it. We got a horrendous Southie coming at us today. But that doesn't matter. We're going to fly anyway. Pilots, the free wing F16 90 millimeter EDF, 1550 kV motor, 130 amp ESC, 8 amp UBEC. This thing is a fantastic flying plane. Definitely not for beginners. Uh, think way ahead of this plane, guys. Pilots, this thing is awesome. Get yours at Motion RC. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Google+. Plus. For Captain Mike and everybody at Motion RC, this is your pilot Ryan. Thanking you for watching, and we will see you next time.